Hello and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to show you um, a little bit of hack. If I see a lot of videos about people saying that don't um, print through silhouette uh, because of your reds. Well, let me show you how to get around that because sometimes your reds, whenever you're printing your sublimation, it's not the same color in silhouette but I will show you a way to get around that. So now that I have this Merry Christmas right here, I wanna go ahead and I wanna select a red. So I have a red up here um, and for some reason it does not print the same that I'm seeing on the screen. So with that being said, I have a little cheat sheet and I just copied it and um, put it on here. Let me zoom back in. Oops. Okay. And one of my go-tos is crimson apple and candy. Okay. So the codes right here, and I'm going to show you how to do this. You can select from, or you can make it. Let's see. You can turn around and change it. However, I like to get the hex code or the H-E-X as some people. So I'm going to take candy and I am going to put right here my hex code which is D21404 I get it from right here okay make sure that you have your font or whatever you want to change color selected all right so I have the correct color that I want and I'm going to print this through there's another trick to this because um, um, there's two things that you could be doing wrong with the red for it to print out. So I have my red, but I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to change this to a green, and you are going to see that you have a red line, okay? That red line will print, so the way to do that to change that is to come over here for your line, or you can come over here and change your line. All right, I like to do right here because it's just already up. So I either change it to my no color, or I turn around and I will change it to the actual color that it is. So you'll see. Um, if you want more detail in it, you can turn around and you can put a black and that just gives it just a little bit more and you can even thicken that line up. So give it a little bit more if you want. So now, okay, say I have it how I want it. I'm going to control P, which that brings up for my print preview, print preview and I press print then my printer preferences come up. Now the key to this is with Sawgrass, I never select the Sawgrass printer itself. It has great um, a program. So I print through the Sawgrass print manager, okay? And all my preferences are already set. So now, let's give it just a minute and it's gonna pop up. And then that's whenever my One more time. There it is. Okay. Oh. There we go. And um, that's my print manager. And it's telling me that my, my size is too big for actually what I'm printing. But I just wanted to show you that all my settings and everything that I need to do to it will be on here. And so I have my mirror checked. And then I would just go ahead and print. So with those two not printing from the print manager and just printing from the machine itself, um, I have found that my colors are correct and using the hex code. All right, if you have any questions about this, please comment below and I will be glad to help you with it. Thanks, have a great day.